Online ham radio testing has been a hot topic as of late for obvious reasons because people are stuck at home. And I put up two different videos on this channel. One was just me talking about it from an article I found, and the second one was an actual interview I did with Richard, uh, KD7BBC, who runs hamstudy.org. And you can find both of those on this channel throughout the course of this episode. I will link them at uh, different cards right here. But today, I wanted to take the opportunity to um, share a video that Richard had recorded and posted on his own channel with permission from him. Uh, I'm going to share his uh, six and a half minute video that's um, a little bit more of a status update than he gave us the other day because things are progressing on a daily basis here. So uh, check this out real quick. Shut up and sit down. Okay, guys, uh, Ham Radio 2.0 on this channel. We do reviews, news, and how-tos of everything that's new in amateur radio. I've gotten pretty good at saying that. So my name is Jason. I'm KC5HWB. If this is your first time to join us, consider subscribing below. And uh, let me know what you think in the YouTube comments. So once again, um, I spoke to Richard. He put this. He actually sent me the link to this video because uh, I was aware that he had a YouTube channel. It's only got a couple hundred subscribers on it, but I wouldn't subscribe to him at the time. I am now so that I can keep up with what he's doing as well. Um, but he sent me a link. Uh, he sent me a direct message link to this video, and I asked him, do you mind if I share this on my channel? And he said, no, not at all. So... Um, I cut part of the video, or I, I took the, this is the entire video. There's nothing, I added it to my stream, but I also put a link to his video directly in the YouTube description below. So you can click on that link, go to his channel on YouTube, and watch the video in its entirety, which will also be played here. Let me know what you think in the comments. Here it is, and I hope you enjoy it. Hi, my name is Richard Bateman, KD7BBC. I'm the owner of hamstudy.org. Many of you have been asking recently about online remote testing. So if you've been paying attention to the ham radio news sites, you probably know that the first fully remote amateur radio test in the United States was completed on March 26th, uh, which was uh, a couple Thursdays ago, I believe. And I was the team lead for that exam. So. I and two others did a fully remote uh, test session. We used webcams and screen sharing, plus had the applicant control their environment to you know, verify that there were no cheat sheets around, nobody walking into the room, so on and so forth. We spent a lot of time thinking about how this needed to be set up, and then all three of us monitored the test, made sure that all of the rules were followed, etc. And Larry Pollock, who runs W5YI VEC, was on the video conference with us and felt completely confident with it and so approved the exam. So remote, fully remote exams are a thing. They are coming. They are going to happen. And uh, at least the ones that I'm associated with will be using a tool called examtools.org, which is a sister site to hamstudy.org. Some of you may or may not have heard of it before. It's not been nearly as well known as hamstudy.org has been, mainly because it's only used by VE teams. And the kind of barrier to entry has been higher than most of them have been willing to accept. Also, we've only really had permission from W5YI for many years. And more recently, Laurel has started allowing some of their VE teams to utilize our camera grading, which is a paper exam, but then uses uh, GradeCam's technology to scan the answer sheet using a camera. Well, it turns out that our computerized exams are completely usable as a remote testing solution. However, there are a lot of pain points, especially when it comes down to paperwork and uh, collecting the test fees. Now, that one I'm probably not going to solve right away, but some of the other pain points that we ran into, and those are just a couple of them, I'm currently working on improving the exam tools system in order to, to solve those problems. Once we get past that, uh, and w there are several VE teams that are still doing some, some careful exam sessions and some pilots to work out all of the procedures, once we get through that, we will be ready to start gradually growing out. Now, I won't be the one deciding exactly what rate that will happen at. That will be up to the VECs. But I am working with uh, teams from three different VECs right now, with a fourth one that we have a member of their board that's involved and paying attention and is hoping that he will be able to 
uh, convince the people who make the decisions to, to take a look once we can prove out the concept and show that yes, for sure it can be done and we have the tools to do it. Uh, but the ones that I can tell you about are W5YI and GLARG, Greater Los Angeles Area Radio Group, have both uh, kind of officially signed on. Um, and then, as I said, there's some others that are looking into it. Now, if you are part of a VEC, now I'm not talking about a VE team or a volunteer, just being a volunteer examiner. If you're actually part of one of the 14 VECs and you're interested in doing ex remote testing using examtools.org, I'm happy to talk to you and I would be happy to work with you and happy to, to have some of your teams join and start doing some pilots while we figure out exactly what we need to do. We're not ready for a rollout yet. I know that everybody is very, very anxious and I want to do it too. I've been spending every spare moment that I've got working on software and there are others who are working very hard on documentation and others that are brainstorming possible uh, solutions to some of the problems and challenges that we've still come up with. For those of you who are convinced that remote testing will never work and that the, the test integrity is going to be uh, sacrificed, we have spent a lot of time on this. We've spent a lot of thought on it. We've had a lot of very, very smart people looking at it. Please rest assured that we are 100% confident that the test integrity will be, if anything, better than the average VE session. Now, I'm not going to go into all of the details right now. They will be forthcoming later on. I don't want to start a big argument or discussion. Main thing I just wanted to do was to let people know we're working on it. Uh, hamstudy.org, which means everyone that's behind hamstudy.org from signal stuff with our antennas and icon that sponsors us and and uh, W5YI has been supporting us for a long time, but also other VEs starting, VEC is starting to jump on board as well and and, and accept uh, the tools that we provide. We are all working towards this. There are no FCC regulations in the way. There's no rule changes that need to happen. There is... I've seen a lot of people calling for, oh, contact the VEC, contact the FCC, let's, let's get rules changed, let's get things set up. None of that is necessary. It is all ready to do it. The problem is that the tools just don't fully exist. I have looked into a lot of online proctor things. Unfortunately, those mostly don't work quite as well as the exam tool system that we used for that exam session and for the other uh, pilot sessions that have been running since then. There's a lot of challenges with them. They're just not designed to solve quite the same problem. It is similar in many ways, but not quite the same thing. So the tools aren't quite there, but they are coming. They're very close. I'm working on them. I promise I will get them done as quickly as I can. So don't contact the VEC. Don't contact the FCC. Just please be patient and we will get it done and ready for you as soon as we can. Thank you so much to all who have been supporting hamstudy.org in whatever of the myriad ways that people support us. Uh, thank you to all of those who are helping with uh, testing things with the pilots. Thank you to all of those who are doing documentation and who have been part of our group working on remote testing. It's been a lot of fun. We're really excited and we will be in touch. I promise you will, you will hear about it when we start rolling it out. So I wish I could give you a specific timeline, but there's so many things that could delay it. I don't want to promise it soon. Uh, I don't want to promise something and then fail to meet that. But uh, but it will be as soon as I can manage. And uh, I hope that, that it will be sooner than you fear, if that helps. So anyway, 7-3, take care. And this is KD7BBC. Okay, so there you have it. Um, directly from uh, Richard, KD7BBC at hamstudy.org. Uh, those are the latest updates from a video that was posted uh, one day before I'm recording this video, which I'm going to record and post this video on the same day. So I'm, I'm about to click finish and go edit it and um, upload it for you guys to see. So go follow hamstudy.org on YouTube. Again, this uh, a link to that video that you just saw is in the description below. You can go up there and follow them um, with all the updates they're making to this uh, online class. I do plan to have Richard on the show again soon, maybe in a week or two, uh, when further information is available about their current eff efforts to get ham radio testing online to become reality. So no ETA as of yet, but it is in process. So 73, thanks for watching. Put your comments below. And catch you guys next time.